The best health care is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a health care partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. It's not just another day in your life. Things are changing for the better. At Comcast, we see those changes and we're thinking about how we use technology today to live, work, learn, and play. And we're building for the future now, so we're better prepared for the wants and needs of tomorrow. That's why Comcast is rolling out multi-gig internet speeds to more than 50 million homes and businesses before the end of 2025, making our already industry-leading network even faster, smarter, greener, and more reliable. Over the decades, Comcast has been your partner, working hard to serve your community, and will continue to be your partner. We're expanding our gigabits so you can enjoy the tiny bits that matter most. Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best-selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Welcome back to Dr. Vernon's Virtues. For those of you who are brand new, welcome. For those of you who listen every week, you know that I've been gone for a while. I take July off as a time to refresh, time to think, time to reflect, and um, often a time to travel as well. So I'm back. I'm all tanned up. I have my hair different, um, but it's great to be back. So uh, thanks for listening, and please subscribe. Um, for those of you who listen on, um, let's say you listen on Spotify, but maybe you're not watching the YouTube videos, I recommend you watch the YouTube videos as well. And please subscribe to those and like them um, and share this work with your family and friends around the world. So we're going to go ahead and start with our affirmation. This is my life and I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to, because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. So we recently returned from Costa Rica, um, and it was absolutely lovely. So for those of you who've never been to Costa Rica, uh, for those of you who don't even have a passport, um, I'd recommend that you get one. The world is very small, but it's also very big. And if you haven't traveled anywhere, it, you know, there is a myth that it costs a lot. It doesn't cost that much to travel. There's lots of deals out there. Get your passport. Go somewhere. Stop dreaming about it and go and get it done. Go and do it. So anyway, so my family and I, we went to Costa Rica. And a part of our um, adventure in Costa Rica was, and of course, Costa Rica is mainly rainforest. So a part of our adventure was actually going and, and doing kind of a... a uh, view of the rainforest. Now, some people zip line across the rainforest. That was not me. Okay. That was not me. Our daughter tried it though, and she really enjoyed it. But then there's like a tram. So you kind of get into this tram and you get, you get moved up on top of the rainforest. And then you have a guide who actually helps you to take a look at what exactly are you looking at? And, and just, you just get to enjoy the view and enjoy the rainforest, which is an amazing creation. And for those people who think, you know, there is no God, there is a God. And it's that God who created an amazing, amazing earth. And the rainforest is precious. It's beautiful. Um, and if you've not ever been in it, and just felt it. Um, it's just really, it's refreshing. It's life-giving. It's green. It's lush. Um, you have, you have, um, you know, uh, 
birds and animals and they're just moving around because it's in the rainforest is free it's an environment it's a free environment you know all of the plants all of the animals all of the insects you know the the butterflies oh my goodness they're all there the hummingbirds are all beautiful beautiful so we're 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 in this tram, we're way on top, like way, way on top. Like we're almost in the clouds kind of on top, viewing the rainforest. And as as this guide is talking to us, he's really talking to us about all the different things, all the different insects, all the different trees and all the different kind of uh, things that every tree does and what they produce and how they work together with each other and how they cross pollinate and, and how the very smallest things in the rainforest have a big job. And even when trees die, this is fascinating to me, even when trees die in the rainforest, there's no one who's going and chopping the rain, you know, the wood up to make firewood or any of that stuff. They just let the tree die. And then interestingly, even when the trees fall, there are other sorts of um, organisms. There's other sorts of plants that are like airborne plants that will find a place on the dead tree. Because even though it seems like it's dead, there's still some life in that wood and they'll find a place on the dead tree and they will start to produce. So you'll see what looks like something that is dead but then it's actually, it has all this green coming out of it on all these different spaces. And the green all looks different because it's all different sorts of plants that land on this, on this trunk that then begin to produce. So everything has a purpose and everything has a meaning and everything there is relevant and everything there is needed. You know, and I, I thought about that really for our own lives. And I thought, wherever you are in the world, regardless of your color, your culture, your ethnicity, your geography, your people, wherever you are in the world, as a human being, one is that you're needed. You are needed in this world. There's something that you bring to this world that's so special that only you can bring it. And there's something in you that you have brought to this world that somebody else needs. Like in the rainforest, they, this, 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 this system, this system of, of trees and flowers and animals, they're literally all working together to produce this amazing thing called the rainforest. And we have a society, we have an earth, we have a, a globe, we have a community, we have a neighborhood. And guess what? Everyone in your neighborhood has a place. They have a meaning. They have um, a purpose for being there in that neighborhood. Your neighbor is your neighbor for a reason. Maybe you should find out what the reason is. You're in your community for a reason, and you have something for your community. Here's my question. Are you bringing your full self to your community? Are you bringing your full self to your church? Are you bringing your full self to your job? These are all systems, microsystems working together. And what, what, what I'm learning and looking at the rainforest going, everything matters. Everything has a meaning. Everything has a purpose. And I couldn't help but think of you and think of me and think of my family and think of our community and think of our world, that every person in this world, as we're moving around the mountains of Costa Rica and looking at our Costa Rican brothers and sisters, or whether we were on a, you know, going to see in Hako, to see the black beaches in Hako and seeing all the different people from all, all over the world come into this space to go and see a black beach, to, you know, to go and experience this kind of, 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 of beach and this kind of, of, of experience really is that I thought, Every person that I'm connected to 
Every person that I see, I'm actually connected to in some way or shape or form. There's something that I have that they need. And am I truly walking in my purpose, which makes me, first of all, um, unique, extremely unique. Everything in that rainforest was unique to me. There's so many different types of leaves. I've never seen so many different shades of green in my life. Green. But guess what? We're all human beings. We all have eyes. We all have noses. We all have eyebrows. We have, you know, cheekbones. We all have mouths, you know, but we're all so unique. And the fact that you're unique makes you extremely precious to this earth. And what I want you to do is to absolutely embrace how unique you are. Embrace it all. Embrace your look. Embrace your voice. Embrace your body. Embrace your energy. Embrace it all. Why? Because you're supposed to be unique. It's a part of what makes you powerful. It's a part of your purpose. So first of all, understanding that you're unique. Secondly, understand that you have something to give. Everyone has something to give. Everyone. Um, on the sides of the road in Costa Rica, um, particularly as you get more toward the city, like uh, like in uh, Rio Segundo or, or San Jose, um, along the side of the road, um, there were these neighbors, these Costa Rican neighbors that were selling this fruit. And this fruit is called, um, I think it's Mamanchino. But anyway, the outside of the fruit, and there would be, it would be just piles and piles of it. And when you buy it, you buy it in these huge bags. And the outside of the fruit is, it looks like this, like, it looks like it's, um, like it would actually, like it's prick, like, like pricks on it, like stems all over it. And it looked like it would actually be hard. And maybe if you, uh, maybe if, if, if you touched it, it would hurt you, but it looks really rough on the outside, right? Very colorful, but very, very rough. And then I learned that when you, when you broke into that skin, so the outside of the skin was really rough and tough. When you broke into the skin of the fruit, what you found was this really smooth, sweet fruit. So on the outside, it was just a rough looking outside. And I thought, isn't that just like some people? They're just rough looking. They're rough looking. You know, their hair is a mess. They're just rough looking. And then you broke in through that roughness and you get to their inside and they're just beautiful, soft-hearted, kind, wonderful people. What am I saying to you? We all have a purpose. We're all unique. And I'm talking to you. Don't be, don't be, you know, um, surprised that someone might talk about your uniqueness. It's okay. You know that your creator gave you what you need to have to be in this earth to bring your full self, to bring your beautiful self, to bring your purpose into this earth and to share it with your community, share it with your world. So the first thing is unique, right? And then I, your purpose. And then the third thing I would say is use your purpose to really stay happy and to thrive in life. Do the thing that makes you happy. And I'm not talking about some sort of like egotistical, I'm just going to do it because I make it happy. And then you're doing foolishness. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting other people. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you are fulfilling your purpose in life, when you're doing what you were called to do, whether it is to serve, whether it is to write, whether it is to speak, whether it is to draw, whether it is to be a strategic thinker, whether it is to, to, to throw a football, whatever it is that you were called to do, that you're doing that with joy, 
with excellence and you are thriving. That is amazing. So just some reflections on being in the rainforest and living out your purpose and bringing your whole self to whatever you're doing and wherever you are. All right. I hope this was helpful to you. I will see you next week. And mind you, if you have not gotten my books, right, go to Power Lessons for Life, get my new book, which is called Power Lessons for Life with Dr. Verna. And if you haven't read my first book, The Power of People, Four Kinds of People Who Can Change Your Life, please go and read it. It's going to be very helpful to you. And I'll talk more about that later as well. All right, let's go ahead and finish up with our affirmation. This is my life, and it is, and I get to change it, and you do. When I want to, how I want to, if I want to, and you do. Because it was given to you, and it was. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. You have the power to live in your uniqueness, to live in your purpose, and to bring your whole self so you can thrive in life and be happy too. Bye. See you next time. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. Hi, I'm Shaletta Burnage. I'm a media personality, podcaster, and a business owner. But my most important role is mom. Three of my beautiful kids have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. When I didn't know who to trust or where to turn, I found Acra. Acra provides home care services to families all over Minnesota. The care is not one size fits all. They know each one of my kids is unique. They listen to what resources we needed and what's best for our family. I've seen my kids grow and thrive with ACRA's in-home care. While autism is the most common diagnosis among ACRA clients, ACRA offers personalized in-home care services for people with disabilities, chronic illnesses, behavioral diagnosis, and mental illness. They work with children, adolescents, and older folks too. Find out more about ACRA at their website, acrahomecare.org. ACRA helps me provide my kids with a better quality of life. They can do it for your family too. Your research is done and you've made the decision. You're ready to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Here are a few things to know before you go. Vaccinations in Minnesota are free, but bring health insurance information if you have it. It's okay if you don't have health insurance. You don't need it to get the vaccine. Bring your legal ID too, if you're comfortable sharing it. But a legal ID is not required for you to get the vaccine. When you get your shot, you'll get a card with information about your vaccine, or you can keep track on an app. It's easy to find the closest clinic or pharmacy where you can get your free vaccine. Go to vaccines.gov for your nearest location. That's vaccines.gov. Children's Minnesota, the leader in specialized health care for kids, is here to raise awareness, standards, the bar, the stakes, the question, the curtain. On raising kids' health to the highest priority, kids need equal access to health care, more pediatric expertise, a voice for change. Kids need us, all of us. So let's raise them up. Children's Minnesota, the kid experts. Summers are a great time to park it. So take time to make time in your glorious Minneapolis parks. Now when you enjoy your beaches and lakes, piers and playgrounds, trails and paths, you can also stroll through the Minneapolis park markets. Now through the end of August, there's a park market every Friday evening at Minnehaha Regional Park. And there's a park market every Sunday afternoon and evening at Lake Harriet. Meet local artisans and small business owners selling unique goods and handcrafted items created right here for you. And with every park market, there's always live local music, too. August is Black Business Month, so be sure to support the park market vendors of color. Park markets, one more reason to park it in your Minneapolis parks. To find locations and hours, go to MinneapolisParks.org, then click on Activities and Events and look for Park Markets. Do you worry that lead-based pain in your older home might be dangerous to your children or kids who visit you? Well, Hennepin County put those fears to rest. Hennepin County offers free lead tests and home assessments. 
If they find anything, eligible homeowners and landlords can receive up to $15,000 for work on the home, including new windows. The government banned lead-based paint 45 years ago when it was discovered that lead poisoning can affect development and cause permanent damage in young children. But 75% of those homes built before 1978 still contain some lead-based paint. As the paint degrades, it can make dust that little kids ingest when they're crawling and putting things in their mouths. So make sure your home is safe and hazard-free. Learn about testing in that $15,000 grant at hennepin.us backslash lead control. That's hennepin.us backslash lead control. You know Shaletta makes you laugh. But did you know Shaletta Brundage can also make you think and boost your business? Media personality, activist, and comedian Shaletta Brundage founded Shaletta Makes Me Laugh to celebrate and share the best of black culture. It's a podcasting platform. You can download 10 weekly podcasts hosted by African-American subject experts at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com is also a production house creating broadcast quality commercial content. And Shaletta and her team of storytellers create powerful promotional campaigns to get businesses the brand awareness they're looking for. Some of Minnesota's top businesses trust Shaletta, and you can too. Get out the word about your events and products and get in front of communities of color with ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. She's got the power to help your business.